So let me ask you, do you know what your church believes? There are a whole lot of different denominations today. And uh, the reason that those denominations exist, uh, maybe not the reason, but one of the reasons these denominations exist is because there's been different interpretations of scripture and that, that end up uh, resulting in different and slightly different beliefs. Um, some of the really major ones are the doctrine of salvation. For the, for example, uh, the two biggest uh, diversions, diversions, I don't know if that's the right word, that I can, uh, that I can think of as the Roman Catholic Church and uh, the Protestant Church. Um, so obviously the major difference, there are lots and lots of differences, but uh, the major difference is their doctrine of salvation. Um, so even our doctrine of salvation, which is how somebody is saved is different. And you need to know that you need to know what the differences are, but there's also lots of other, uh, different kind of belief systems and structures in place, how your church operates as a body. Uh, do you know what those things are for your particular denomination or your church? And do you agree with those things? Um, there are insignificant and I shouldn't say insignificant, not insignificant. What they are is non-salvific. There are non-salvific issues. That means, for example, uh, is the earth, was the earth created literally in seven days or was it created in millions of years and it's a figurative seven days in the account in Genesis? Uh, what you believe isn't, doesn't change the fact that Christ came here and died for your sins and, and we can be saved. Um, but there are other issues that are salvific issues, such, such as what does your church, uh, what does your church believe or profess ab about marriage? Uh, marriage is a pretty big issue today, and uh, and Scripture is real specific on marriage. Uh, so, what does your church believe about that? What you know? Um, what does your church believe about salvation and about repentance? How about baptism? Uh, and the Eucharist or communion. Maybe you've never thought that uh, all these little issues are things that you should study and you should have a biblical-based biblical, little, biblical based opinion on. So I want to give you a little bit of, uh, a little bit of homework in this video, and that's I want you to find out if your church is a member of a denomination, if you don't know already, uh, find out what that, what that denomination's beliefs are. You should be able to find those on their website or on your church's website. Now, listen, if you can't find that information out pretty easily, maybe it's, maybe it's time to start asking if you're asking some bigger questions, right? If you can't figure out what your church believes relatively easily, um, these days via a website or even an email to the pastor, uh, and he'll, he should have documentation on, on this stuff. Uh, boy, that, that's an interesting sign. It might, might be time to start asking if this is the right church to be a part of, um, because you need to know not only what you believe, but you need to know what the church that you're worshiping at believes.